Um, another concept that I want to introduce, if you're not familiar with it, is the concept of information transmission and storage. And this uh, fellow up here was a professor, Claude Shannon. Uh, he was at MIT during the 1940s and spent much of his career trying to figure out how to transmit radio signals without it being lost along the way, which of course can cost lives in, as they did in World War II. So he came up with a mathematical theory of communication and it basically led to the internet that we use today. And what he, he said in this diagram, this is pulled straight out of his, at least the black part is pulled straight out of his paper from 1948. He said that you can have a transmitter and a receiver and there will always be noise, whether it's background radiation or something. Uh, but the problem is how do you have a perfect transmission? And he proposed that there would be this observer. We now call the observer the backup copy or the TCP IP protocol of the internet. But he was the first to show, mathematically at least, that you could use a backup copy to reconstitute the original message. Um, and this is why we can no longer use the excuse that, oh, I didn't get your email. It always arrives, unfortunately. Um, but what I've done is I've added a concept of biology as I'm thinking about it currently. And that is that information, either genetic or epigenetic, uh, is in a relatively pristine state when we're very young. And over time, you have, you have uh, aging. And what might be happening is that you lose information, whether it's genetic or epigenetic. And we don't know that what that is yet, um, for sure, especially the epigenetic component. Um, and perhaps is there in cells a reset switch? Can did cells ever store a more youthful version of their uh, gene expression pattern, say, or their younger identity? And if they do, wouldn't it be amazing? Because then we could potentially tap into that. And as I show in this example of the eye, uh, reboot the system and get those cells to function like they were young again. So this is where we've been headed lately.